Hi, I'm Karen Miles. And I'm Jackie Jam. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a little cocktail. Topo Chico. Jackie's at my house in Illinois. Do you know where Jackie lives? She lives in Washington State. You know where I live? I live in Illinois. And Jackie came to see me because we're friends, plus to come to the Chicagoland meetup. And we're gonna clean. Oh, cheers. Cheers, friend. Cheers, twins. Love you. Mm -hmm. There were 35 people that showed up at Faye's house, Faye and Blake. They were amazing. We'll talk more about them later. We showed up to eat meat and to talk about meat and the healing properties. So meat and like-minded people are pretty amazing. Yes, and in fact, there's so many stories that people shared at the Chicagoland meetup that I didn't know. I've been talking to these people for months and months, you know, on Instagram, some on Facebook, some in our Zoom meetings. Coaching with, groups. Yeah, right, coaching yeah. groups with Kelly Hogan, with the carnivore doctor, Lisa Wiedemann, with- Lady Carnivory. Um, Lady Carnivory, JC. I mean, Steak we've- and butter gal. Yeah, we've talked to these folks, but honestly, to see them in person, and talking about their struggles. I mean, I cried on some of them. It's just amazing what carnivore eating and this lifestyle has done for these folks. It's amazing. So one time we had an open mic. We had an open mic. So the microphone was up there and we said, if you want to talk. So when people were sharing, it was really cool. I learned this, these people, some lady cured her Hashimoto's, IBS, skin issues. To me, a major thing was joint pain that cured me. I'm thinking, we're talking on the way home. I said, I, was, I just cured joint pain, but some people cure some major problems. Like life-threatening things that happen to some of these folks that are now not experiencing yeah. those problems. Yeah, and you know it's cool? There were husbands and wives say that they both do carnivore. That's pretty cool. My husband's like carnivore. No, mine's not either. No. I mean, he tries. Yeah. Bless his heart. <laughs> Mine likes all the meat I cook, that's for yeah. sure. He liked that heart you made for me I tonight. I love that heart. She had me fun. try some heart, which, uh, beef, beef heart? Beef heart. So I've been meeting with Cherish, Margie, and Faye for the last psh, three months maybe, planning on what we're gonna do, where we're gonna have it, what foods we're gonna eat, what we're gonna do, um, what kind of sponsors we're gonna have. This is time for a sponsor break. Let me tell you how awesome this carnivore community is for the sponsors. I reached out to Redmond's Real Salt. Everybody got a little mini salt shaker and a bigger salt mm -hmm. shaker, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, um, LMNT gave us, I think it's, I believe it's a six pack of LMNT packets that you put in your water. A keto chow gave electrolyte drops. drops. Plus yes. we raffled off a big bag of egg white, dried egg whites. And uh, you know who won yeah, that? Yeah. Tammy won that. Oh really? She's so excited. Oh nice. Up stick butter gal gave four monthly coaching groups. So you could be in the whole month of stick butter gals meetings, yeah. private meetings with a group of people. Our buddy Kelly Hogan from My Zero Car Life donated two of her awesome shirts and her ball cap. And those people were so excited to get that. There was a lot of people wearing Kelly oh Hogan gosh. gear at this meetup. We'll talk lot. about the hike, but we went hiking. A lot of people wore her gear hiking. <laughs> then we went to the meetup and people had sweatshirts, numerous people Some and shirts. Some of us had the cows on. The cow. <laughs> That's a Kelly um, cow. Or her stickers on her bottles. Yeah. Uh, another sponsor was Linden Tallow Cream. If you look that way, you can't see it, but it's the, the Linden Bridge. I live in Linden. I make this tallow cream, and somebody won my tallow cream. So that's a lucky gonna, person. Yeah, yeah. I have some of that stuff. Numerous people have it. Yeah. And Carnivore Bar, they were awesome. They sent us Carnivore Bars, and we cut them up. I told them what my plan was. We cut them up for, to have everybody have a little sample, and then we raffled some off. We had four Amy's there. It was supposed to be five, but that other fifth Amy couldn't come. Um, but a, one Amy, Amy B, they're both Amy B's. She gave us, everybody got a sticker that said Chicago Land Meetup and had some that fun cool. little things on it. Yep, some people were wearing them. Some people, I'm sure, will put them on the bottles. Mm -hmm. What'd you do with your sticker? Um, the other Amy gave some carnivore bars. She said she had them and she just wanted to share and let other people share. So we raffled right. some of those. That's awesome. How about the little silly things we did? Tell me about that, the raffles. The Oh, well, so if you're a new carnivore, sometimes you have issues with uh, the transition and, um, you know, spend a little more time in the restroom. So one of those folks got a nice roll of toilet paper. That was our hostess yeah. Faye. <laughs> she got a roll of toilet paper. 
And you she came was the, the newest carnivore in the group, so she got that and one. And who came the furthest on this trip? Oh, that would be me. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? So I got a carnivore bar, which will be in my purse when I get on that plane tomorrow and go back home. I don't want to go back home. Mm -hmm. But I have to go back home because sooner or later we're going to go to another meetup, right? <laughs> July 16th in yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey meetup. We did a cool Happy. thing. When everybody arrived, they... Um, put their name and how far they were from their home. So we had a map of the United States and I had these little, little bright yeah. things for the arrow. You and told you me about them. that and I did that at my meetup yeah. too. It's kind of cool to see where yeah. everybody's from. I did it in Peoria, Illinois. We had one last fall and that was a lot. So the meetup started at three with appetizers. Four o'clock we started eating the food. What did we do before at 11 We went on a really fun hike. And on the hike, I don't know how many people. Did you count how many? I don't know. I'd have people? to look at the picture. Okay, lo quite a lot of people 12, 14, 15. came. But you know what's so great about having a little activity before the meetup is we got to know each other. And every time we stopped, we'd change people. So the person you're walking next to on the hike, you know, you get to sh share a little and find out about each other. So I felt going into the meetup afterwards that I already knew these people some even more start. than before. And we had a leader. Gary was our leader. Gary's Amy's husband, and he's awesome. Is it Gary or Jerry? Jerry. It's Jerry. Jerry. Not Gary. But he spells Jerry with a G, so we yeah, think Yeah, that's Gary. what I was thinking. Yeah. He's Sorry. funny. He's, he's funny. funny. He's funny. He's so he kind of led us. He was in charge, and he did a little bit of the route beforehand because they got there a little early. They came from St. Louis. So we got to talk about Faye and Blake. Yes. They hosted the meetup. They live on five acres out in a little area away from all the hustle and bustle. So idyllic. So beautiful. They had a zip line. Oh my gosh. I yes. got to do a zip line. They had a trampoline, oh a zip line. Uh, um, like not monkey bars, but these. Uh, I'll show. Yeah. I'll show well, it a picture. You could climb on them and. So when I was going to do the zip line, you have to climb up this. It's called like a rock climbing wall only. It's. You know, yeah. to climb up at Can't the top it to do zip line. I had my sandals on because, yeah. you know, they look better than my <laughs> sneakers, I thought. So I had my sandals on, looking good. I tried to climb up, I'm like, mm-mm. You were looking good. Can't do it. We can't, can't climb that wall. No. So I'm like, I'll be back. I'm going to get my socks and my sneakers. So I went back and got those. And Andrew spotted me. He had my back. I said, oh, I'm 62. I didn't want to fall and crack you know, my face open. With carnivore age really doesn't mean anything. No, I feel good. Lots of people tried the zip line, but we're back to Faye and Blake. Yes, yes, they were amazing. They, and uh, I haven't had coffee, you know, for over 60 days, but Blake had a, what, an espresso machine, and he made cappuccinos and lattes for people that were like super good looking. Oh, oh I wanted one so amazing. bad. But a lot of people got them and had them, and I just watched and so you know how people have water. maybe beer on tap or you go to a bar and there's beer on tap what do they have on tap at their oh, house oh they had sparkling water on tap every on tap. everybody wants one of those tap. in their house now mm. including myself it's really cool they had this cool bar and what do you want for your water. birthday jackie i want <laughs> sparkling water on tap like faye and blake it was really cool <laughs> they were so so awesome and generous they yes. donated a few things wonderful to wonderful house yep. I, I felt so welcomed and comfortable there now so yesterday was a meetup and this morning was a morning after so what we do a bunch of us stayed in the hotel and a bunch of us went down had coffee or breakfast and hung out. I was there for an hour and a half or two hours. I yeah. got dressed right yeah. away and I was down there, wasn't yes, I? Yes, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that Amy and I didn't get yeah. out of our room that fast. Yeah. She's like on <laughs> the minute she wakes up. It's so, really quite amazing. So anyway, after that, we, at 10 o'clock, we played a pickleball. Oh, yeah. I loved it. I want to play pickleball now from now on. I love that sport. It's so fun. It's a lot of fun. There, there was were, a lot of people that knew how to play pickleball. There were 11 of us. One, I've never heard of it before, Karen. Two other women played before and me. And um, one other guy has a big tennis background. Mm -hmm. And there's some people that could transition Jim. and do really. She wants to buy the stuff for her family. Oh, I want my husband to put in a court now. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. So what's the benefits of hosting a meetup, tell me? Well, so first of all, meeting with like-minded people, people that actually are trying to improve your health and, and doing so by eating things that don't include seed oils and the standard American diet foods like packaged and processed foods. We eat real food and most of the time it's meat. Meat, meat. cheese. We just had meat and cheese 
for our dinner. Yes. Yeah. It was it was delicious. It was delicious. There's delicious. no need for any of the other stuff, really. No, we had three different kinds I of meats. I was full <laughs> when I left there. I had mostly I had mostly brisket and the pulled pork. And we had so smoked delicious. turkey, smoked pork, and smoked brisket yesterday. Oh, it was delicious. We had some charcuterie boards. We had that delicious coffee and that delicious water and other kinds of water, two mineral yeah. waters. And no dessert. Oh, yes, we did. We had dessert. What did we have? Hot dogs. We grilled hot oh, dogs. Oh, yes. I did. The, the, that at the cool. end. So have you ever been to a party and, you know, people go make a showing and then they leave pretty fairly early? Not everybody stayed. Lots and of And it was even sprinkling at one point just a tiny bit. And we were all around the campfire or they made a big bonfire a fire pit. out yeah. in their property. And we all were roasting hot dogs. And it was so fun. Nobody really wanted to leave. It's Sorry, a Faye and Blake. Sorry. We <laughs> We just wanted to stay. Ooh, here it comes started. Our here comes. We're doing <laughs> YouTube. Um, it started drizzling, and we were all still staying around because we were having so much fun. It with was. Too. It was Not so fun. When did my buddy stop by? Come over here, Cheryl. I've been here since last Wednesday. Wednesday, evening. and I got to meet many of Karen's friends. She has so many great <laughs> friends. But this is Cheryl. Hi, she guys. coaches with Karen. And she also had the pig farm, right? Yes, Where I do. If you watch Karen's stories, you've got to see the piglets. <laughs> the best part about Cheryl and I, we feed off of each other, just like we yeah. feed off of each oh, other. Oh, we went kayaking together. We went and worked out with Cheryl. It was she's, awesome. Fun. She's it doing was awesome. Looks like a, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loved that. She's awesome. I love that. She's awesome. <laughs> but we, we, we do a lot of stuff. We bike, we kayak, we snowshoe, we play pickleball. We do, we do all. it all. We work yeah, out with the gym. All the yeah. We do we it all. Walk. I, it's so awesome. The, the end of the story is I have to move to Illinois because I want to be around <laughs> these people more. They're I so agree. Fun. I love you guys. I'm looking, I agree. We're looking for a house for Because I said <laughs> to them house. tonight, can I come over? <laughs> yeah, come over. <laughs> I, well, we're the Carnivore Twins, and this is going to be a YouTube video to talk about meetups because we did a YouTube video about how to do a meetup because you had one. That's I have right. two now, and we've been to a. a I'm gonna have a another one on July 30th. At what year? In Cashmere this year, July 30th, 2022. Thank you. <laughs> and it's for the Pacific Northwest carnivores, but you don't have to be from the Pacific Northwest to come to my meetup. July 16th, there's one in New Jersey. July 16th, 2022. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if it's past that, we hope to see you at a at a meetup <laughs> soon. Yep. Yeah. And and so like us on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, subscribe. Yeah, all those things. Yeah, I, yeah you yeah. know that. I comment <laughs> below. Have you ever been to a meetup? Have you been? Have yeah. you ever played pickleball? Put it below. What's your favorite meet? I'm just joking. <laughs> I, yeah. I, have a great night. Have all a great right. day. Thank Take you. care. Thanks. Love you guys. Love ya. Thank you.